Welcome to the channel. This time around, a disco ball. Alrighty. So, looks like it comes with two components. Get a, a mirrored ball that's going to be suspended from a chain uh, that rotates for the motor. And this has colored LEDs. They're going to blast down here. And then, obviously, kapow! You're going to have these little colored dots flying around the walls. Super duper cool. I got this at a local Halloween store. I did not see this particular item on Amazon. This is this model is the MBK6. I'm sure the 6 is referring to the 6 inch diameter uh, ball that this is going to have. 6 inch mirrored ball, 4 multicolored LEDs. It does have a battery powered motor. This does not run off of AC. Hopefully the batteries last a long time. It's either on or it's on um, sound activated, voice activated type deal. Uh, so let's dig into this bad boy and see what we get. One loose fitting box. Some documentation here. And another box. Okay, flimsy Chinese cardboard. I don't care. Do you? Are you into the cardboards? I don't know. All right, it comes, I guess, bag. All right, then. Giant bag for a little thing. Whatever. Okay, this is kind of nice. I like, um, okay, so you can't lose the chain in there first off because I did put this big ring on it. Even if you did, though, I'm sure it would fall back out because it's in a funnel, so as soon as you tip it like that, it's going to... One thing I do like, though, you can suspend this thing from a hook. Look at there. Alrighty then. I guess it's battery powered. You could run around and carry it with you if you wanted that as part of your Halloween costume. There you go. You could do that. Halloween costume, right? Dress up as disco stew or, and carry a lighted disco ball with you. That's actually kind of a fun little idea for a Halloween thing. And there's the battery compartment. LEDs. Three-way switch. On. Off. Sound sensor. There's your three modes. On. Off. Or sound sensitivity. Sound, sense, activity. Wasn't that cool? Yeah, I can do that all day. Okay, let's take a look at this this ball. Hmm? This isn't going to be high quality glass mirrors on this. This is going to be plastic, I'm sure. Comes a little bubble wrap. That's nice. Inside the bubble wrap, another bag. Ring here. That's obviously going to thread onto here. This is some keychain ring action, so you're going to actually have to sit there and twist this around to thread it through. So for me, I'm probably going to get myself a little carabiner to just make it a quick clip so I can unclip this bad boy when I go to put it away. Plastic ball, just some uh, pieces of plastic mirror glued onto it. And there's no way, there's no AC adapter. You can't plug this thing in. It only runs off these batteries. Let's get into this battery compartment. Oh, brother. That little screw, that is tiny, man. So you're going to need an eyeglass screw kit for this. Let's see, do I have an eyeglass screw? Oh, look at me, Mr. Prepared. Yes, I've got another one of those Victorian Oxus Army knives. Because I never know when I'm going to have to disassemble my disco ball. One little screw. That's common now, right? They're putting little screws on the battery doors of toys and things. It used to just be a little plastic snap. Now they're doing the, the screw thing. Which, that's fine for the kids' toys. They're going to be running around and, and probably losing stuff. But this thing, I don't understand the point of that. This is basically you put batteries in it and you hang it up out of reach. It's going to be, ideally, this is going to be up as close to the ceiling as you can get it, right? Okay, comes with a ribbon to help you pull the batteries out easily. Takes the three batteries. Obviously, again, with the lighting issues, I don't know if you can see the orientation is written in there. And everybody knows the flat negative side of the batteries go on the springs, the positive knob sides touch these panels. Please tell me these batteries are not dead or I'm going to look like a dope. Some of you probably think I already look like a dope. Snap that on. Oh, look at that, man. You have to use the screw. That door isn't doesn't snap. It literally it's dependent upon this little screw. Okay, dock one star for that then. Cuz if you lose this tiny little eyeglass screw, 
you're going to be uh, having to tape this door shut. I mean, tape's not the end of the world, though, right? Let's take a look. Ooh, dazzling. Look at that, huh? Woogie, woogie, oogie, get down. Isn't that how the song goes? Oh. Why is that not rotating, though? The motor's not moving. When all else fails, read the destructions. So now I am humbled. Warning, don't put the plastic bag over your head. Thank God they told me about that. I was just about to put my head in that bag. If I can't get this dang thing to rotate, I might put that bag on my head. Uh, be sure to use only three AAA batteries. What else would fit in there? I don't know. Oh, maybe a rechargeable pack or something. Exhausted batteries should be removed immediately, of course, so they don't leak. Do not use this device near water. Clean only with a clean, dry cloth. Don't use it near any heat sources. You can't cook with it. You didn't know that. Glad I told you. There's another one of these rings inside here, and on my particular one during shipping, it flipped over and got jammed. So that's why this thing isn't um, actually moving. Boy, that's, that's jammed in there for, for real, dude. I got a hook. But we're going to get it to work. Because, Dad Gummit, I want to wear my leisure suit and my platform shoes and boogie down in the living room, right? So, oh, hey, I think I got it. There's the lights. It turns very slowly. Let me see if you can see the chain rotate at all once I stop playing with it. You see it spinning? Yeah, there you go. So it does work. You just have to obviously put fresh batteries in it. Runs off three AAAs. Three. I'm holding up my fingers like you don't know what three is. If you get one of these and you put fresh batteries in it and you're doing all the right things and you're being a good boy or a good girl and it still doesn't work before you throw it against the wall or return it back to the store or whatever, get in there with a screwdriver, a hook or something, look in there with a flashlight and see. There's a good chance that that little key ring thing flopped over and, you know, the diameter of the ring is inside there is preventing it from being loose and you're gonna have to go in and like manually loosen it with a tool so let me get this thing hooked up and try it out where the real heart of this thing is is in the ball and the motor so i uh used this at a dance party we had for a halloween party i matched it up with a three watt spotlight well, you know it's a mirrored ball so if you have brighter lights on it, it's really going to cast a pretty good amount of light around the room and look pretty cool. So you're going to have to put something else on it besides just these little LEDs. Um, as far as battery life on the uh, motor, I was pretty impressed. We had um, I had used this at the Halloween party, and that was about three hours, maybe four hours. I've used it a few times since then, so I think I've probably gotten five plus, actually hours out of these batteries and it's still going as you can see. I think it's really designed for in-house like a, a dance party or karaoke party but if you were even going to do this for some sort of little party DJ wedding or something if you matched it up with a brighter spot and this would work um, and you'd get like I say you could do your four hour five hour or more gig with this thing on a set of batteries. The only downside for me is that I, I had purchased this at a specialty Halloween store around Halloween time. So I paid full retail for it, about $30 with change. Um, you could probably find this thing cheaper if you looked around for it. If you run smoke too, you get a, a smoke machine, fog machine, it really enhances the effect. I was running a multicolored laser with smoke and with a spotlight on this and the party really bounced. You know, it's just one component. It would work fine if you're just looking to set a mood in your bedroom or something like this, then these lights are plenty bright enough. I mean, you're looking at these things with my flash on on the camera. If I take it off, then you see how brilliant it is when there's no other lights interfering.